Welcome back to my channel Score and Shine. In this video, I'll be telling you all about cauliflower, which is one among the cold crops. Scientific name of cauliflower is Brassica oleracea botrytis and it belongs to the family Cruciferae. And its origin is seen from Mediterranean region and it is cold season crop. And the edible part of cauliflower is curd and the inflorescence you can say is racemose where the main axis is branched and each branch consists flowers. And the next is cauliflower is protodynous in nature where the female part of the flower matures first. And here comes the most important practice in cauliflower which is blanching. Blanching in cauliflower is done to protect the curd becoming yellow or brown in color and this arrests the enzymatic activity and stops curd becoming brown in color. And there are some self blanching varieties which are Pusa Himjyoti and Pusa Snowball. And here comes the another most important practice which is scooping which is done for earlier initiation of flower stock. In scooping, the central portion of the curd is removed and by removing it, the earlier initiation of the flower stock occurs and for that scooping is done. Now let us say about the seed rate. For the early variety, seed rates require us 500 to 600 grams and for mid and late varieties, seeds require us 350 to 400 grams. And for spacing, require us for early varieties 45 into 30 cm and for mid and late varieties 16 to 45 cm. It has been seen that cultivation of cauliflower has been introduced by Dr. Jameson to India. And now let us see about the important varieties. Important varieties in early varieties are Pusa Early Synthetic, Early Kunwari, Pusa Dapoli and Punt Gobi 2 and 3. And mid and late varieties are Pusa Snowball, Pusa Himjoti and the other important varieties are Alka Kanti, Cuba Giant, Himani and UT1. Now let us see about the physiological disorders in cauliflower. And in physiological disorders, whip tail, which is due to molybdenum deficiency, where you can observe only the midrib of the leaf blade, and hence it is called as whip tail. And next is buttoning, which is due to nitrogen deficiency, where you can observe development of small curds in young plants. And the next is browning, which is also called as red rot or brown rot due to the deficiency of boron where in browning you can observe light brown to dark brown spots in the stem and later on you can also see the curd too becomes brown in color and the next is hollow stem which is due to the deficiency of boron and also due to excessive use of nitrogen which leads to the excessive growth of plant and it develops into hollow stem and curd and the next is chlorosis due to the deficiency of magnesium where well, you can see intervenous chlorosis and yellow mottling of the leaves. And the next is blindness. Blindness which is due to low temperature and frost and also due to damage by the insects at the earlier stage. And in blindness you can see plants with no terminal buds and it fails to form curds. And the next is riciness. Riciness is due to the fluctuation of temperature and due to the application of excessive yen and also due to high humidity. In riciness, the surface of the curd becomes loose and has it has been seen that velvety appearance due to the formation of the small white flower buds at the curdling stage. And that's all is the physiological disorders. And next let us see about the important insect pests and diseases. Important insect pests are curdworm, aphids and diamond back moth and important diseases are club root, leaf spot and leaf blight. I'll discuss the important insect pests and diseases in detail in the other video of cold crops. Thanks for watching. That's all for today. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel if you're watching for the first time and don't forget to click the bell icon too. And that's all for today. You can also join to my telegram channel. I'll keep the link of the telegram channel in the description so that you can go check it out there. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much.